Hello and welcome, I'm Marumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play more of our Papal States campaign, the Holy Trinity. Lithuania needs to die. They've just peaced out with Austria. Uh, sorry, what's his face? So, I suppose now is a pretty good time to do it. Georgia's really far away. Let's just do this now. Um, unfortunately, the Teutons were apparently forced to give land back to... Sorry, Lithuania was forced to give land back to the Teutons. So, they are now stronger. Their total war score cost is now 74%. If I don't act on this soon... Uh, we might be in trouble. But I have a claim on it. Awesome. We need to transport some more men up there. This is what we need to act on. So, our guy accidentally fabricated claims on it. So, our army that's up north has four artillery. I'd like to get that up to ten. We're not going to spend any admin points. Let's take the, uh... Just do this. We'll take you and you. We'll take this cav. We'll leave one, one or more of these artillery behind. So we're up to 12 more troops. That's that's way too much. No, I didn't need to take that many. I only needed to increase it by how many? Six. So we can grab four infantry. Setting ten more artillery up there would be kind of nuts. That's all I really need to do, is just get that army up there. We declare on the Teutons, we vassalize them. We would accept an alliance right now, which is uh, obviously not good enough. They're only allied to Anhalt. We just lost a claim on Siena, I'm not too upset about it. Uh, let's stop improving with the Teutons now. I don't think we need to wait for any repairs, let's just ship them up there right away. So we'll end up with a uh, pretty sizable, good... 24 stack. The Teutons have probably far less than that. The Teutonic Order is at 5k troops. Maybe I should just declare right now. Get started on the Siege of Mimel. What was it? The other one was Onhalt. Onhalt has 6k. I'm assuming they have, like, no navy. They have no navy at all. Yeah, we can just declare right now. We've got our siege leader in charge. We're working on a mothballed fort. It's fully maintained now, but it has no garrison. Excellent. So we get a free fort. He mothballed both of his forts. Now we'll take your capital, and we'll take Marienburg. You're squished. War score cost to vassalize you is going to be... 67. Aggressive expansion is a lot. Don't care. Need to do it. Must do it. 177 Diplo. Totally worth it. So the Teutons, they, they can't be in a coalition because they're going to be our vassal. Hungary, Danzig, Austria, Pomerania, Mantua, Denmark. People that don't matter. No one that matters. The rival's pope. Every pope should be respected, even the bad ones. Rivalry between popes. France's opinion of the papal state is changed by plus 60. Or... The formal papal controller is a rival of our current. And there are plenty of decisions, papal bulls, and decrees of the last pope that can be made undone. That's interesting. So, I either gain or lose devotion, and then the opinion swing is not very big. We'll take the devotion, please. We don't need this whole army here. Since there is, like, literally no army to fight right now. So, again, I'm gonna do this the right way. Pull the cav off. 
And uh, we'll leave the infantry there. I just I, I never like leaving cannons all by themselves, because clearly that didn't work out so well in one of the previous wars. Why don't we try improving relations with some of the countries that said they would join the coalition? So the Teutons, Hungary, Hungary and Danzig. Hungary is nothing I can do about that. Austria, Pomerania, Mantua. I'm not particularly concerned about Mantua. Oh, that was Parma. But we'll improve with them anyway. I'm glad we did not have to take the stability hit to make this happen. He's secured military access for me, thank you. I don't really care about those claims right now, I'm just excited to have our vassal. With all of his glorious cores, we can immediately declare war on uh, probably Lithuania. Or, you know, Poland would probably be a better better pick, actually. Ragusa. Excellent. So I could get to war with Ragusa. I had a claim. Still have the claim on, on Ragusa. I can get to war with them without worrying about the Ottomans trying to protect them. So we have some ships that completed. Wait, the Empire's all the way over there? Hmm. 84 war score is not likely to be enough with this guy. Nope, it is. Excellent. Okay, so we can just end the war. Um, yeah, go ahead. Let's just do it. I'm, I'm not too worried about this collision. Um, actually, hold on. Denmark's at negative 52. If I wait till January, how fast is our aggressive expansion coming down? 3.4 per year. So we just wait till January and then Denmark won't have any possibility for joining. Which just makes it very less likely that uh, they would actually have any issues. Other than that, let's park the whole army in one province. Uh, let's get them army, the navy repaired. Prepare to vassalize. Naval force limit is... 38. We have one more ship, two more ships in queue, so we shouldn't build any more boats. Income is pretty solid. We're paying for forts that we don't need right now. Let's turn these all off. That makes a big difference in income. Preparing our defenses. Uh, we'll take the local defenses. And it's now January right now. Yeah, I'm not going to take any of your money. I'm not going to do anything else to you. Now it's just four countries. One of which is the guy that we're vassalizing. So it's just Hungary and Austria and Montferrat. So, it's fine. You are now my vassal. You are now my march in one month. We're going to make you into a march. Don't let me forget. That puts us over the relationship limit, probably because we still have military access through Milan. Which makes us good now. Good. And we want to designate march... now. There you are, sir! Danzig. I to bow to Poland. Poland would protect them. Poland, ally to a bunch of other people. Hmm. Lithuania. Okay, 75% aggressive expansion. Less aggressive expansion. Only 8 development. This one's 24. I wonder... I think we should probably just... declare a short war and just take that chunk. The sooner we can get the Teutons stronger, the better. And this is just such an easy opportunity for it. So let's just take this chunk. It's less aggressive expansion. On the other hand, we could get two cores. 
Two, two claims, rather. Let's do, let's do this one. I don't know how you got a claim on that province, but it must have been when before you lost this province, I guess. You have five troops. No allies. We must attack you. It just goes without saying. I am going to say it, but it, it nearly goes without saying. I will assist the siege since I brought 10 artillery up here. And we will just continue to occupy everything that we can before we can train up any army. Stop converting me to Protestant. Please don't do that. I don't like that. I do like this fort though. We probably don't need these forts now. Roma, I think, is good. Napoli is not necessary. Let's get rid of that one. Let's also get rid of Messina. Keeping our army tradition high would be nice, but it's just it's just not necessary. Um, okay. Kind of a squirrely path that we have to take to reinforce this, so. Oops. How is it that this fort is not pre preventing me from going over to Kiev? There's the zone of control. I came in from up here. I'm still in the zone of control and I'm just allowed to leave. Okay. I guess that's fine. We have 18 war score already. The provinces that cost zero dip are going to be Grodno, which we need to siege. Uh, actually, I need to transfer these. So we're going to transfer this to the Teutons. Transfer this one to the Teutons. Transfer any other claims that you have. So, okay. Super peace. Grodno's free. And then if we try to return core or Telsberg, it's 24 dip versus conquest, which is still going to be 24 dip. 26 peace offer value versus... 26. But this makes them lose their core on it. Cursive expansion of 11.2. 11.2. It's the same either way. So I'm, I'm going to do the return core then, because I think return core makes the vassal like you. A lot more. And then we'll wait for Vilna to siege, and then we'll take that one too. And in the meantime, I can spend my admin points on ideas. Let's bring some cannons up and speed the siege. Lose prestige in favor of devotion? Sure. I don't think I have any issue. I'm going to be at 100 prestige at the end of this war anyway. Reformation branches out. Okay, great. Now we have reformed to annoy me. Excellent. Super excited about that. More people that need to get converted back to the true faith. You had siege value. Why did you not go and assist? Free mercantilism is always nice. Income's good. All I need to do is get strong enough to beat the Ottomans now. The ability to lose influence. I like how the church, you know, we're, we're the papacy, right? We're like the, the people who are supposed to be like... We're the freaking... We are Catholic. We, we are everything that is Catholic, and yet our clergy have no loyalty. Unfortunately, this one's actually going to cost quite a bit of Diplo points. Because even though we declared Conquest, we use the Conquest CB, this is someone else's CB. It's, I don't understand why this one costs. I don't think it should. 
We're negotiating with the war leader over a conquest, which is the conquest CV. <sighs> I'd rather not get Muscovy into the coalition right now. So let's just settle for these two. Gusa, Danzig, Saxony, Genoa. Everyone would protect you. Or I could attack you and just have to fight Poland. If we reconquested these two provinces, this is part of the Empire. So the Teutons would likely get unlawful territory. No, they can't. They have a core on it. Never mind. It would be fine. The Emperor would get a CB against him. How easily could we beat Poland? Poland has 18,000 troops. I have more in just this one stack. I'd have to do a separate war with Poland for the Polish cores. But we could separate peace Poland and annul all their alliances. It's all to transport over to the next province. We'll get ready to smash Danzig. Yeah, we need to make him stronger. Five mothballed heavies for the future. If we need them for something. You guys should really be protecting trade together. I don't know why you're still not. Gained a little bit of land, uh, naval, naval force limit. Um... Ooh, 0.22. By all means. Alright, there goes all our money. But we are almost there. We've got our two, we've got our marches. That's what's exciting. Uh, we should probably improve relations with oh, both of them for now. Make them happy. Auto man, kill the knights. I need to release them in Malta so I can attack Tunis and eventually go and take over Jerusalem. Alright, cool. I'm going to take a break here. I'll see you in the next one. Thank you for watching. As always, I'll see you again soon.